because who doesn't want to work from home? You can earn a lot of money, you can travel whenever and wherever you want, you just need your computer so you can work. And you have a lot of more spare time where you can be with your family, with your partner, do some hobbies that you like, exercise, work out, play tennis, whatever you want to do. I usually work around one to two hours a day and that's it. So let's start. Hair is up for a more comfortable work environment, headphones are in, for a better sound quality and let's jump into the computer. So first of all, I create a new account on Shopify. Continue with email. Verify email, verified. What am I gonna name this store? This is always a little bit annoying in the beginning because I don't know what I'm gonna sell. And so I don't know the name, but let's just put something because we're gonna change it later on. I entered TikTok made me buy it this hashtag to see what product can I test. Because as you know, dropshipping is all about testing products. So the first product that we're gonna test is gonna be which one? The first one I see is a waterproof shower phone holder. It has 5.2 million likes and it has more than 32,000 comments. So yep, I'm gonna go with this one. Am I selling? Nope. I don't know yet. Zero. I don't know. Next, where am I in? Right now in, I'm in Mexico, but I'm gonna put Sweden because I'm from Sweden. I'm gonna download scale order. You can download Deezers, CJ Dropshipping, Spocket, Topster, whatever you want to use. I'm gonna use scale order in this one. And as you see, I found it quite fast. So I'm gonna see, okay, where do I want to ship it? Maybe to the United States. Okay, so it's gonna be eight to 12 days and it's for $76. So the total drop shipping price is gonna be $8 and I can sell this for about 15, 19, $24. So it's quite a good profit. I'm gonna also see to Sweden if I want to sell it to my country okay it's the same it's the same shipping so it's gonna be around eight dollars and I'm gonna press add to import list then I'm gonna add my I'm, I'm gonna enter my import list and I'm gonna import to store now I enter my store and I enter products and it should appear now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna change the title and description. Okay, so basically I just wrote waterproof phone case holder, holder for the shower. So we all know how cozy, how good those long showers, winter showers, autumn showers can feel after a long cold day at work. So once you get home, you take a hot shower and it feels so nice. But we're just standing there and watching the wall. We're not watching anything. So with our waterproof phone case holder, you can watch TikToks or Instagram or videos or whatever you want in the shower. So it's not gonna be a boring shower anymore. And then I'm saying also that it could be the perfect Christmas gift for this Christmas because we're, we're actually in November and it's soon Christmas. And people buy a lot of stuff during Christmas. And that they should get it now because it's Black Friday and it's a huge discount right now. This is bullshit, but they don't know it because it's a marketing strategy. So I'm also adding some kind of offers that it could be a good Christmas gift if they don't want to have it and also that they should buy it because it's a huge discount right now. That triggers the spontaneous buy in the customer so they're gonna be like oh it's a huge discount right now i'm gonna buy it and then i'm writing ps you don't need to use it in the shower if you don't want to you can use it someplace else okay so then i'm gonna check the images mm -mm -mm. okay i'm gonna save this first because sometimes i do something afterwards and then i save and it couldn't save so all the text that i just wrote it disappears okay so i don't really like the photos that i have here uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one because there are some Chinese text on it, so I don't want that. I'm gonna delete this one, this one, 
this one. Be sure that you don't want to have any text on a different language from the market that you're selling to. So if I'm selling in Sweden, for example, I can't even have pictures with English on it. It has to be all Swedish. Okay, so I'm gonna save it for now. And now I want to enter Aliexpress and I want to find the same phone case holder. So it's the first one, okay, perfect. I'm gonna see the video. It's okay, it wasn't a very good video, but whatever. I'm gonna download all the images and this, what I have here, this is a Chrome extension called Save Plus. So that means that I can enter AliExpress and I can just download all the images that I find on AliExpress. Okay, I'm gonna download this video and now let's start changing some details in the store. So I don't want to have this. Oh, maybe I can have this. I can just crop it. Okay, let's see. I don't want to have two different colors. I'm just gonna have one color. Or maybe I should have two colors. I'm gonna have two colors, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop the images. So I can just crop out the English text. Perfect, done. The pictures that I don't want to have, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them. This one you can see there's a lot of Chinese things on the on the phone so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one as well because it doesn't look professional. Let's see this one. There's also a lot of Chinese things on the picture so nope, no can do. Okay so I'm gonna add some pictures that I downloaded from Aliexpress. This one looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as well. Then I'm gonna change everything to the language that is used on the market where you're gonna sell. Then I'm gonna add the pictures, the, the product pictures. This is this, and this is the white one. And I'm gonna change the price. So we said $8, so I can sell this for $19. And if I want to have the discount, then I need to enter here. And the ordinary price, the regional price, I'm gonna put 200, so 399. So now it looks like we have 50% off. Done. Now I'm just gonna also enter the SEO. I'm gonna write the name of my product. It looks a little bit better because if not, when they enter the URL, it's gonna be a long URL and that doesn't look too professional. Then I'm gonna choose a theme. Usually I always go, not always, depending on what product and how many products, if, it, if it's a OPS, one product store, or if it's a general store. But usually I use the Sense theme because I really like that one. It's really easy and it looks really nice. It looks clean. But that's just my opinion. So you choose the theme that you like the most. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, done. Let's start to build our website. Okay, so first of all, we have the message at the top of our website. Now it says, welcome to our store. We want to write something uh, like this. Free shipping. Um, save 20. Oh. Where is the dollar sign? Dollar, dollar, dollar sign. Say $20 today. Okay, and then we want to add an image. Oh, nope, this one, choose image. This is a good image, so I'm gonna try this one, see how it looks. I want to have adapt to image. And here you can choose some different details, how big you want it, where you want it, to the left, to the right, etc., etc. And then we have phone case. This is just an example. And watch your favorite videos at any time, even when you are in 
then we have by by now we have to connect this button to our product done and then we do not want to have this i'm going to press the i and then it magically disappears we do not want to have collage because that is if you have a lot of pro uh, products if you only have one product it's not it doesn't look good because collage is for different products collection list is also for a lot of products and this is the subscribe to our emails i'm gonna take that away for now then i'm gonna sh i'm gonna choose Featured product, singular, product, not products. Featured product, I'm gonna enter, I'm gonna choose my product and it's this one. So, done. And then I'm gonna take away this share button because I don't really need it. And then I want to add a text. So this is just an example, I'm gonna pull it here. Title is very big. Okay, so like this. This is so annoying. So like this. Watch your favorite videos while showering, cooking, washing your teeth, you name it. Okay, so now I'm I'm mixing English with Swedish. You should not do this. You should keep your website to just one language. But for the sake of this YouTube video, I'm gonna mix the two languages. Now I'm gonna make a GIF. So I'm gonna enter this website. I'm gonna choose the video that I downloaded. And I'm gonna choose the seconds that I want to use. So maybe I can use this one. So I can use from one, two, three. One, two, three. Convert to GIF. And now I have my GIF. Perfect, I'm gonna save it. Then I'm gonna make another GIF. So now I have this one. But as you see, I have some Chinese text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crop it. Like this. Crop image. And now you see, ta-da, we don't have any Chinese text. There's still some I can see. Crop it a little bit more, like this. Crop. Now I'm gonna enter my GIFs on my website. Easy to install. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm getting somewhere with my website. So what I need to do right now is that I'm gonna create a logo for my website. So to do that, I'm gonna enter Canva. I'm gonna search, and I'm just gonna use this one, just as an example. I'm gonna add it to the footer. Perfect. And in our footer. So something like this. And then I'm gonna change the colors because I don't want to have pink. I enter colors and I'm gonna choose accent one. I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna press this one. Let's see what's gonna change. Okay, so as you can see, it changed, done. Then I'm gonna change this image because I don't really like it. So I'm gonna go back to Shopify, to products, and let's choose another product for this color. So let's choose maybe like this. And before we enter the theme again, we're gonna add our policies. 
Once I have filled all the policies, I'm gonna enter web shop, navigation, footer, and I'm gonna add these policies. Now I'm gonna see how my website looks so far. Don't forget to publish it. Okay, so, so far my website looks like this. So maybe, maybe we can change the colors. I'm gonna change my menus up here. I'm gonna change the name, maybe as I said the colors and then I'm gonna add something more on the website but as you see it's already starting to look quite good. So I'm just gonna enter the navigation, I'm gonna change the name so this is home, catalog I don't really need it because I just have one product, contact us. I'm gonna add an image with text. And an important thing is the favicon. I'm gonna choose my logo. And now you can see only with these small details, the, the website looks way different. And one last thing, I'm gonna show you a very good app to have, Section Store. And I really recommend you to buy the Jesse Drop bundle because you get a lot of professional features in that bundle. But I'm gonna show you just two free bundles at the moment. So, these are two free sections in the app that I showed you and you can see that it already looks a little bit more professional. So this is building a website. I really recommend you to start your side hustle today and believe me that you're gonna be very, very, very happy in about five to six months when you see that that side hustle is starting to pay off.